Right, so I told Maylee that I've already done one of these I am vlog things ages ago, so I should be excused this time. She went off on one about setting an example, so here I am. Exactly the same for me. Did she threaten you with extra chores too? He didn't he confiscate my wall. Gosh. Oh. Apparently, it's a great chance for me to talk about what's changed since last time, except, well, nothing much has, really. Let's play jokes. Every day here's much like the rest. Are you kidding me? You're supposed to be doing your chores. Do this, don't do that. There's a whole house full of chores to be done. Do them! How long will it take? As long as it takes. Come on, let's go. Chop, chop. And that's the thing that drives me really mad about being in care. I mean, I know the rules are there for a reason, but... Doesn't mean that you have to like them. <laughs> Bit rich coming from you, Judy. Yeah, as soon as she got a sniff of power, it's like she turned into the rule monster. You can go and do the food chopping, and you can do the washing. Go and collect all the dirty clothes. I'm not touching anyone's stinky socks. Oh, sorry. Did you want to clean the toilet instead? Socks. I'll do socks. You know, for someone who doesn't like rules, she certainly came up with some shockers. <laughs> Wi-Fi's being switched off until these chores are done. What? Not the Wi-Fi. Anything but the Wi-Fi. I still have flashbacks from the Wi-Fi incident. I'm sure it's post-traumatic shock. I gave you a chance this morning, and you lot let me down. So now we're doing things my way, and you'll never get online again. You've completely lost it. No! You're the ones who've lost it. This house is out of control. So well, not anymore. These are your chores, now do them. All right, I'll admit it. There might be one or two tiny rules that are worth having. Rule one, never let Geordie be in charge of anything. Rule one, always keep the breakfast cupboard stocked up. We're out of cereal again. Well, there's always toast. I don't want toast. Rule two, never waste breakfast stuff on pranks. Rule three, especially pranks with porridge involved. Show me again. Because <laughs> pranks make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Yeah, one's the best ones, eh? You are so gonna pay for this. Come on. This isn't an easy thing to say, but best to be honest. The truth is, I do have a bit of a temper. Wow. Shock revelation. Not. And sometimes when I go off on one, that can be scary. For me, I mean. <laughs> and for everyone else. <laughs> I've always been someone who has Archie Loof. Ow! Watch it! Sorry. The occasional grumpy moment. <laughs> but here's the thing. I always thought the older I got, the easier it would be to keep under control, but... It turns out, though, that that's not the case. That's what I call the understatement of the century. If you're in a bad mood, don't take it out on us. There's 13 people living here. It's inconsiderate. And I'm sick of looking at your grumpy face every mealtime. Sometimes it felt like my temper was getting out of control. Yeah, but I don't care what you think. I wish I never told you to get out. I said get out! Oh. Just lean forward. Yeah, breathe through your mouth. He could have broken his nose. And that's when Mei Li made a genius suggestion. Boxing. Really? Yeah. Come on. I've got to go fill in some forms for you. Wait here. Get used to the place. It started out as a way of letting off steam, but it's become more than that. Forwards and down. Forwards and down. Keep your guard up. Forwards and down. That's the one. Circles. Listen to the rhythm. It turned into my hobby. Yeah, boxing's been good to me. I wish I had your hand speed. <laughs> it's like anything. The more you do it, the better you get. Plus, it's really worked as a way of making me calmer. Not so quick to fly off the handle. But everyone's got their breaking point. 
Maybe you should try out for the under 12 tournament. That's much more your level. Oh, shut up, Gemma. Trash talking is part of the game, you know. You should try it. Or are you too scared? Look, I'm not scared of anything. Least of all you. Could have fooled me. You box like a faint breeze. Just back up! This girl at the gym, Gemma, knew exactly which buttons to press to wind me up. You could get banned for that. So, she said you punched her in the face. <laughs> what? Well, she's lying. Oh. What happened when you went to get your stuff from the locker? <laughs> well, she tried to wind me up, but I didn't hit her. She's such a liar, too. <laughs> I never hit you. You know I didn't. Just tell Coach that. You owe me an apology first. Or do they not teach you that in care? Is that your problem with me? That I'm in care? I mean, fair play. I couldn't handle it if you were my kid either. <laughs> you don't know anything about me or why I'm in care. I know that you can't control your anger. What a cliche. <laughs> I guess there's no reason why boxing clubs should be different from anywhere else. Wherever you go, you find mostly good people. Good luck, Jackson. And the occasional Gemma. Interesting. To be honest, I haven't really worked out what my dream job might be. Although I've ruled a few out, I think the world of customer service is going to have to manage without me. Have you any idea how much trouble you've caused? Maybe you should be grateful that an old battle acts like you even gets a phone call, you miserable old bat! She definitely had that coming. Mrs Carter has made a formal complaint. <laughs> And IT have just informed me that you made an unauthorised international call. I mean, what is wrong with you? Oh, chill out! You've been unprofessional and rude to customers. You've racked up unauthorised costs and broken office equipment. I mean, you're completely out of control. Well, this is all just some big power trip for you. This place is a joke. No! You know what? You're a joke! I'm done with this stupid work experience! I guess I've got plenty of time to figure out what that dream job might be for me. I wondered if this might come up. I think that anyone who knows me will agree that there can only be one answer to that one. And that's Tyler. And that's Tyler. And I found someone in missing him loads. Of course I'm not. You so are. You better do something! Don't you dare! To be fair, when he was younger, he could sometimes be a bit of an idiot. I can't believe you missed it! You tripped me up! When he wasn't so young too. But he's always been my idiot. What are you doing? I could um... Ow! Sorry. I don't really want to get into the whole saga. How we started out as mates and then became... more than mates. We are here today to join these two people in marriage. Do you, Jodie, take Tyler to be your very lovely husband? I don't think anyone could have seen that coming. Apart from me, Obs. Sasha! Jordi and Tyler, just friends, or are we all going to be sitting front row at their wedding? They are so going to get together. Definitely. Always going to happen. For sure. Very high probability. Definitely. Well, yeah. 100%. Whoa. You two aren't a couple? No! Boys are so hopeless at talking about stuff, though. That's why, eventually, I had to get a little firm with him. You don't care! You never have done! You never will! I care about too much! That's the problem! I hate that you're somebody else. Absolutely hate it! At last, I knew how things were between us. Although, trying to keep something as big as that a secret, something that could get us split up, it's a tough ask at the best of times, let alone with prom night coming up. I promise you'll save the last dance for me. He's just around here. Deal. Tyler, someone here to see you. Tyler? Papa, how's it going? What are you doing here? I was hoping to see if Tyler would like to take me to the prom. Me? Unless you've already got a date. You don't, do you, Tyler? Brilliant. <laughs> Can't wait. I'll see you there. Of course, the secret got out eventually. that nothing gets past Fred. <laughs> I 
And then, the bombshell. This is a ticket to St. Lucia. Yeah? I thought I'd had to make difficult decisions in the past, but... All of a sudden, they all just seem like kid stuff. When I think about my future, I think of you. I want us to stay together. Which is why I've decided not to go. Are you being serious? But, but it's Alicia and I'm just... My girlfriend. What about your mum? You can always go and visit. Why are you so surprised? You know you're my favourite person. And my best friend. Karen, as your best friend, I want what's best for you. Great. Because what's best for me is right here. Do you mean me? I mean you. <laughs> so, what do you say? Yes. Yes what? Yes, stay. Of course, once we thought it through, we had to go. You can't turn down a chance like that. And I was going too. At least that was the plan. I think deep down, we both knew that it wasn't really going to work. I bought that for you. You keep it. Everywhere I go in the DG, I'll have something that reminds me of you. You need something that's going to remind you of me too. And then when we meet again, you give it back. Get on the plane. I'm going to show you the world just how amazing you are. OK? Going was the right thing for him. And staying was right for me, but... Sure, I, I do miss him. Just a little. Just a little? Yeah, right. <laughs> Meanie. Well, at least the dangerous spread of germs has been minimised with all that kissing. So, that's it from me. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. And if that includes you, Tyler, take care, won't you? Well done, you Cody. Yeah, whatever. I mean, at least it's done. You know, I'm all in there if you want to chat about stuff. You do know that, don't you? Yeah, of course I do. You're my best friend. Who doesn't live on a Caribbean island? <laughs> <laughs>